Hello, this is Stefano Catalani. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're on the third floor with the students of Gage Academy of Art, and I'm surrounded by more than 70 pieces of art that artists have donated for the silent and live auction. Like last year, this year event will also be a live stream event. What we did this year, unlike in the past, we're creating a virtual tour. I'm taking you through a virtual tour, and we're just gonna uh, cherry pick some pieces. Um, every piece is absolutely amazing, but we had to make a selection for you. So hoping to steam you a little bit of appetite and make you want to browse through our website and look at the works. I want to thank all the artists. This year you guys have been absolutely amazing. Uh, all things considered, it's been a tough year and seeing so many artists, alumni, students, teachers of the school, as well as uh, master artists uh, from all around America donating to our gala has been incredibly heartwarming. So I'm extremely excited and extremely thankful. Uh, I also want to thank the staff. The staff. The staff has done an amazing job in installing museum quality installation, um, the pieces here on the third floor, so that I could be here today and give you this virtual tour. The silent auction will open on April 24th. Uh, if you haven't registered yet, go on our website, gageacademy.org, and register. It's easy, it's free, register, and then you get a text message and you're in. And then the auction starts at 6 p.m. on May 1st. But let's go back to the tour. Uh, Greg Edmondson's portraits are so compelling. Uh, I hope I can convey the feeling of standing in front of this large canvas. Uh, the frozen stare, the uh, melancholic look, it's really uh, drawing me in. Um, it is amazing how the artist has rendered the beard. Uh, when there is a close-up, you will see how beautifully rendered the hair is. But also this emerging of the face, almost like from underwater emerging to the surface and uh, being sort of like a, an epiphany. It is quite of a compelling piece and I hope that you will come and see it in person. And I'm so excited to uh, present you to uh, Alfredo Oregin, The Dance of the Muses. Um, this is the first time that Alfredo Oregin donates to the uh, Spring Art Auction and Gala here at Gage um, Academy of Art. Um, this is a quintessential uh, Oregin's uh, work. Um, it is this colorful um, pattern painting. Uh, in this case, this is a serigraph. Um, what is fascinating as you get closer to the piece is realize this pattern in the in the water and the pattern in the sky um, with a sort of this uh, resonance between the two the glinting of the water with these blues and greens and reds and then the stars and the depth of the uh, universe with um, these reds and and and, and oranges um, there is a lot of movement going on in this in this serigraph, and not only for the dance of the orcas, but also just the movement of the surface and how the colors are literally woven in and out of the surface. We're so lucky to have Alfredo because he is definitely one of the living masters here in uh, Seattle. He came in 1959 and is uh, not only collected uh, nationwide, but also he has two pieces in the Smithsonian American Art Institution, the National Portrait Gallery and the National Museum of American Art, and recently had an exhibition at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. I am so excited to share with you three works by two graduates and a student of the Atelier program here at Gage Academy of Art. This is Paul Rosiak, who graduated very recently from the Aristides Classical Atelier. Uh, this piece is called Shaker, is oil on linen on panel. I really encourage you to look into the reflection. Um, there is mastery in Paul's hands and the way the still life captured the reflection in the shaker is, of the lemon is really fascinating. This is uh, Kerry Williams, and this is also, uh, Kerry is also a graduate from the Aristides Atelier, a recent graduate. You can see very different uh, styles. This is uh, Children of the Forest, and it's very interesting how Carrie moves very fast on the surface of the canvas uh, with her brush and moving the, really the pigment, creating these very dynamic surfaces. And this is Sonia Haraldson, a current student of Kimberly Trowbridge Atelier in Georgetown. I love this small um, piece. Uh, there is an interesting play between the window and the curtain and the way uh, this interior, although rendered on a very small canvas, has a lot of space and a lot of intimacy and a lot of atmosphere. So um, I'm very excited that we are able to feature the work of alumni and current students of the school. This is Kimberly Trowbridge, Backyard Ferns, Orange, Oil on Paper. 
Uh, Kimberly is an instructor of our atelier program down in Georgetown. She's also having a solo exhibition at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, Into the Garden, a whole body of work that she developed during her creative fellowships at the Bloedel Reserve. And she is a performer, an artist, uh, a lecturer, um, and um, this work really captures uh, her conversation, relationship, uh, love letter um, with her garden and nature and the seasonality and the changes and her ability to capture those changes through um, very quick brushstrokes and color. And also excited to introduce you to Jerry Rue, The Vertex, which is oil and aluminum on panel. Uh, Jerry has been a very generous donor to the Gage uh, Spring Art Auction in Gale in the last few years. He's represented here in Seattle by Woodside Brass at the Gallery. Um, I love his landscapes. Um, there is this contrast between light and dark, um, a lot of dimensionality that is built through actually quite interesting juxtaposition of flat surfaces. Um, again, this is a sort of quintessential Jared Rue and Northwest, Pacific Northwest uh, landscape. And so um, I'm, I'm really invited to come and see it, but you can have a sense of uh, this incredibly beautiful mental, emotional space that his landscapes are able to create for us. I'm here in between two amazing pieces. Patty Bowman, an encaustic artist, this is called In Order to Play. Uh, when you will come and see this piece, please be aware that these are not actual Lego pieces. They look like, but actually they're cast encaustic, which means it's wax that has been cast with color. Encaustic is such a um, physical medium, uh, one of the oldest, the most ancient medium. We still have encaustic from the Fayum uh, tombs in Egypt from 2,000 years ago that have survived the, uh, uh, until now. But it also is very, very um, physical in the sense that where you're in the studio working with a hot plate with the encaustic, there is the smell of the wax and the color that melts. And it really gives dimensionality to the color. This is a very playful, but also incredibly intellectual piece, I think. And then we have Tom Hoffman. Tom Hoffman has been a um, teacher at Gage Academy of Art for decades. And um, this work uh, called Surge is really fascinating. There is an economy of means of brush strokes that uh, allow Tom to deliver a lot of meaning and a lot of information uh, onto the paper. Um, here, as you get closer to the piece, you can see these color gradations and these very sensual nuances of color and then uh, that in the background that create this sort of depth and this illusion of space. And then you have this incredible vivid uh, brush uh, stroke of blue. And so again, an, a masterpiece really. We're very lucky to have this business in the show. Very excited to share with you this work by Margaret Davidson. Margaret Davidson is an amazing artist living in the Skagit Valley. She's actually the first instructor that was ever hired by Pamela Bellier and Gary Fagan uh, 30 years ago when the Academy started here in Seattle. So she really carries a lot of weight in terms of uh, creating the foundation for a school for where we are today. This half round of Alder is an incredible um, uh, artwork in pen and ink on rag paper. Um, you will see as you get closer the detail of, uh, of the piece where her hand has been able to capture not only the, the grow lines of the alder but also the shading and the, and the, and the, and the dimensionality of, this, of the cut. So there is a lot of cross hatching um, but really is a piece that through the detail um, draws you in um, and uh, becomes almost abstract once you are close to it. So I hope you will come and see this piece in person or you will bid on it during the auction. This piece is incredible. I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, once you start looking into the clouds and you realize how he has moved the pigment, the oil on the, on the paper and how much depth he has been able to build with such a restrained palette also, it's just incredible. This is Norma Landin. Um, um, it's called Note 10. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like, I think, a page of a diary of his relationship with the landscape. Um, it's a small piece, but packs a lot of space, really. It is an incredible piece. Norma Landin, more than 70 exhibitions uh, nationwide in the collection of 
Museum of Modern Art, uh, New York, Tacoma Art Museum, Brooklyn Art Museum, um, Seattle Art Museum, um, heavily collected professor of art, drawing and painting for many, many years at University of Washington. I'm excited to share with all of you also this piece by Charles Burt. Uh, Charles is a graduate uh, of the Aristides Atelier. Uh, the piece is called Tanker Boots with Spurs. And um, I'm excited to see this piece in our auction this year because last year when I asked Charles to donate to the gala, he had no pieces to share with us. So I was very surprised and very grateful that this year he actually reached out to us to donate this piece. This piece actually speaks about Charles. After 20 years of uh, active duty uh, as a veteran, he uh, embarked in a new adventure, which is the artistic journey here at Gage Academy of Art with the Aristides Atelier. There is something very important to tell about Charles. Not only is an amazing person, also he was diagnosed uh, with Parkinson, and he really uh, see the challenge of a steady hand in painting, uh, like in this painting, uh, something that he, um, that it's an, an integral part of his artistic practice. So not only his experience as a veteran, but also um, the painting as a, as a, as a discipline to, uh, to train his hand and overcome uh, the, the disease. So uh, an amazing piece, really, and a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love how the boots are also in this case emerging from this very green backdrop actually um, and uh, gain dimensionality. Uh, a wonderful piece. Thank you, Charles. And of course our live auction would not be complete without Max Ginsburg, uh, Madeline Couch composition. Max Ginsburg is one of the most respected and highly accomplished social realist painters. Uh, for nearly 50 years his paintings have depicted the human condition both capturing the beauty of everyday life but also offering a passion and commentary on class, gender, race. Uh, this is a true masterpiece, uh, and we're very excited to offer again uh, a piece by this master uh, to our audience. Thank you for uh, joining me, and I hope that this is inspiring you, and whether to buy art or to make art. So you can participate to the gala or buy a class at Gage. More than anything, though, what I want to say is this. When you go on our website and you browse through the pieces of the silent auction, if you see something you really like, don't do what I've done in the past. I'm going to bid and then see. Then you forget and then you lose the piece. Just buy it now and you're done. Okay, see you on May 1st and come and support Gage Academy of Art. Thank you. It is wonderful to have a director directing you. I just discovered I'm just a natural in front of the camera. And I'm 53. I mean... Why you guys kept this away from me? Why nobody told me that I had a whole career at, in Hollywood in filming industry? I was so excited about giving this virtual tour that I got a haircut yesterday. I mean, I mean, so I look flawless in front of this camera. Someone told me just a few minutes ago that I should have had a model career. I don't think I was born for that. I think I need to be in the arts. So you guys are stuck with me.